Yo, what's up? This is Jesus Today, e, and this is a tutorial for how to set up and install ACO Link Pro with FL Studio, and if you have an interface. So those are the things you need. You need a DAW. You need ACL Link Pro, and you need an interface. So uh, if you have all of that, let's continue. So what we're gonna do is go to Google ACL Link Pro. It's the first link. You can look at this YouTube video, how to, it'll tell you what you need. Or you can watch this video and I'll tell you what you need. You need to download all three of these. So I already uninstalled it, so I have to go through the process again. Okay. So now that we have them all going, let's go ahead and open this one. Just hit yes. Here's the install and it disappeared. There it goes. You don't have to check this. Install 16 WM, WDM devices. Just hit next. I agree. Wherever you want it to install. Install that. Hit next when it's completed. And you can set this up to run if you want to. There's really no there's really no right or wrong way to use this. But the way that I'm going to show you in this video, we we need to run it to open the panel so we can toggle on a few settings. So uh none of this you have to you don't have to touch any of this. Just keep in mind that the exit button actually exits and closes ACO Link Pro. Uh, because if you just hit the X, it's still gonna be in your taskbar. So that's something to keep in mind. So what we're gonna look is ACL Link Pro settings. So we want to start ACL Link Pro minimized. Don't check for updates. And that's it. And we can hit exit. And now we can close this. So we should have ACL Link Pro installed. If I come down here to my search, type in ACO Link Pro. Uh, and then what we want to do is come here to open file location. So the next thing we have to do, we have to patch. And the shortcut just took us to another shortcut. So we just have to go to this already highlighted right click open file location again okay so if I open this window a little bit you'll see that this is the 64-bit version of ACO link pro and we need to start with the patches I'll have uh, I'll have a link to this or you can just search it on Google but I'll put a link in the description anyways just to make it faster but as you can see this is the 64-bit folder for ACL link pro and when you back out you'll see a 64 x 64 and then right here is where you want to put your uh, your patches let me go to my downloads So the 86 is the 32 bit. And all we got to do is drag ACO Link Pro into this folder. Oh, wait, it's already in there. Okay, it's already in there. I guess because it still remembers, it didn't delete everything. So we can skip that file. So basically. Yeah, you just have to put the 86 x86 patcher in this folder and then click on x64 and then put the patcher 64 bit patcher the x64 patcher in the 60 x64 folder but don't launch any of them you want to launch the ACO link pro patcher x86 first so 
let's go ahead and do that. Maybe yes. It should say success. Press enter to exit. Uh, and then you go to your 64-bit one, and you run it too. Hit yes. Success. Press enter to exit. So it's successfully patched. So now we can just open it. But first, before we do that, we're gonna set it up with FL Studio. So let's open FL Studio. Okay, so mine right now is asking me to pick a driver. So for right now, I'm gonna pick my, my audio box driver, just for now. But I think this is with the ACL Link Pro, but let's see. Yes, yeah, with ACL Link Pro. So I didn't delete everything. So basically what you wanna do, I don't know if this is gonna be different for you, but what you wanna do, you wanna go to options, audio settings, and then when you're in this window, click on the drop down and pick ACL Link Pro. And if you have an interface, USB interface, it's gonna automatically pick up an ACL Link Pro. So just make the, the key thing to remember here is just to make sure your sample rate is the same across your interface and like the project. So uh, like come on is 44, 44.1. So that's what my sample rate is set to. And if I click on ACO Link Pro, this 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 comes up. As you can see, there's input right here. But let me slow down. Uh, so basically, that's how you set up that. And once you pick that, it'll pop up this window. And how you fix it from uh, from popping up? If you tick that setting, you know when we first open the ACL Link Pro, it will uh, it will start minimized. But what you do, you come down here, if it's in your hidden icons, you just basically click the icon. Like I can, I can drag this in here. So basically you just drag this out so you can access it quickly. And you can just click on it to show and hide it, which is pretty cool. So after that, you know you're, you're pretty much set up if you followed how I did it so really the only thing you really need at this point let's see you just have to set up this so when you when you pick your driver you gotta look for your interfaces driver or you can use voice meter which I'll make another tutorial how to use how to use this with voice meter. I'll do a few different videos for different setups just to meet diff people's different needs. But for me, in this case, it's gonna be a audio box ACO driver. That's my PreSonus audio box driver. So now all I have to do is come here and pick my microphone and it will hear me like you will hear what I'm saying, but you hear what I'm saying now, but let's see, how can I show this off? Audio, so basically what I had to do, this is what ACO Pro, Link Pro is capable of, is capable of capturing your voice in real time. So if you like to monitor yourself while you're, when you're recording, this is the, this is the solution. If you want, if you want to be able to stream and show your stuff on Discord, this is another possibility. You can do this on the fly with Discord and share your desktop sounds and your DAW sounds. Like everyone, you can hear, you can hear me make these claps. But it's coming through as one, as one input device, right here. I just added this. But we'll show I'll show you how to set that up right now. So basically this is the end result. Low latency. If I go if I go to my options, go back to audio settings, 
And if you look under status, it tells you some information about your latency at the very end of this string of li string of words. <laughs> Five milliseconds. Your buffer link, which you set in ACO Link Pro, which in mine is 128 three milliseconds so basically you would subtract this number from this number and that's how you get your true delay basically but in mine would be two milliseconds so you just have to pick your driver here and then usually it pops up when you click ACL C panel but if you have some software that's necessary for your for your interface uh, I would look into that and just another reminder this button right here not a reminder but just I want to talk about this this Windows MMC panel if you click on that it's gonna pop up this and yeah you just want to make sure that when this ain't running or like when you close FL that your default device is your interface so I'll leave this open and I'll just demonstrate real fast so now you can hear me again and it defaults back to uh, whatever your last device was but I want mine to be this audio box so I'm gonna select these and set them to default and I'm gonna hit OK so uh, yeah let me show you how to set it up in OBS let me turn this off for not this one but uh, yeah I guess I gotta show it <laughs> it's okay but yeah so just real quick you go to your settings go to audio and right now I have my desktop audio set to my audio box and my line to the audio box because I'm recording this video but basically you're just gonna pick one of these and you're okay so you're just gonna look for speaker one and then for one of your mics you're gonna pick mix 01 for ACO VA you know that one and then you hit apply and then you hit okay and I'm gonna remove this one because I don't need it anymore remove so that's basically how you set up set up that and uh, yeah that's basically it like the rest if you have questions or don't really understand what to do next or something but let me let me see let me show this let me see if I can let me see hold on okay so this is basically what I wanted to uh, show what you could do with this driver so right now you're hearing me through FL studio because it's armed to record with my mic and I have the monitoring on so this is the only way that people are gonna hear you once you they're not gonna hear you if you turn that off that they're not gonna hear you if you turn this off they're not gonna hear you so if you wanna mute yourself you either take off the record button just toggle that toggle the record button off or you detach it but I would stick with the record toggle the record button it's faster so uh, yeah I could like be making my beats and you can hear it I'm just gonna put something in here for purity like you can hear all of this on stream in real time no delay I'm just making it really quick <laughs> but yeah y'all can hear all of this you can hear me and it's perfect if you want to record songs so let's say uh, I want to brag a song in here 
Let's go to music. Let's go to my beats. Let's go to, I don't know, December. We're going to pick one of these beats and drag it in. Just make sure your te tempo is set to how you want it before you drag it in. And then, where is it? It's December, December, right here. So, yeah, just drag that in. And uh, I'll show another tutorial how I got this set up right here, but not today. I can easily unarm it and arm it right here. But basically, I'm set up to do punch ins, but that's another tutorial for another day. If you got it set up, you know, within the mixer within the mixer like this you're straight you know you just have to hit this off but that's another video for another day uh, so like I could just come in here and just start recording so I have how I have mine set up I with my Akai so I can arm it to record and then hit play but remember to turn down the volume because it's gonna be really loud so you can hear yourself so you could record songs on the fly if you want to but uh just check it out. Yo, I don't know what to do. I don't got a clue. I'm just looking blue. Why got no sake? For goodness sake, I don't eat flakes. And then boom, that could be it. So I could go back and then take it off the cord. And then, you know. Yo, I don't know what to do. Why don't got a clue? I'm just looking blue. Why got no sake? For goodness sake, I don't eat flakes. See, you can do this. You can do this with ACL Link Pro. But that's that's all I wanted to show. Uh, if you need help setting up in any way of the process, like just just leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you. But it's really straightforward. You just kind of have to have an idea where your audio is going. And the rest is just like, it's easy. You just have to pick either your your interface driver or the Mix01 uh, driver. Um, but that's basically it. If you have any questions, just let me know. That's it. Peace.